Ethiopia, a long day of travel out of Chicago to get here, but man, I can't wait till tomorrow morning. We're gonna be up in the hills looking for Mount Niala, but unfortunately on the way, ran into a flat tire, so it's a good way to start the adventure. We're gonna get into camp, eat lunch, shoot our rifles, and then we're probably gonna go to sleep, because I haven't really slept in about 30 some hours with the time change and everything, and we're gonna get up bright and early tomorrow morning, 2 a.m. departure from camp, got an hour car ride, and then a couple hour horse ride up in the mountain, but then, It'll all be worth it because we're going to be looking for Mountain Yala. out here to go target shoot and waiting for the game scouts and just got a phone call that our uh, head guy here has been at the police station it sounds like there's um, some activity going on in our area right now so we're not gonna be able to get in there for a day or two find out more when he gets back from the police station it was kind of a broken broken phone call but anyway not exactly the news we wanted after we just got done traveling for a couple of days to get here so that is all part of the experience and the adventure of hunting in Africa. Hey. What should we see here, Jason? We should see uh, mounted Nyala, Boa Reedback, we're going to have our Tamam over here. Hey. 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 Tamam, this, this he's got everything we're looking for, he's got good shape. traditional horn shape right like the bell that, yeah that's the traditional tr horn shape yeah but yeah he's, he's a, a perfect perfect new one. everything about him is is fantastic eh? such a cool animal the coloring they got all the they way they're awesome yeah with those chevrons on the nose and yeah that white mark yeah sort of that white patch under the neck it's a beautiful new one, right? yeah, it is. seen a ton of mountain yala, some giants, reed buck, bush bucks, ibis, warthog, you name it. And what a lot of people don't realize is that the hunting dollars that come into Ethiopia from safaris like I'm on to hunt mountain yala, it also some of those dollars come back to the park to help preserve this part. That's one of the stories that don't get told enough and it's pretty cool to see hunting dollars come in and preserve an area like this and, and allows for the wildlife to thrive. It's pretty awesome. We're heading back now. Hopefully we hear from the military that we're gonna be good to go into the hunting area. If we are, we're gonna sneak over there this afternoon just to sight in our gun. There's nowhere local where we're staying that we could sight in just because there's so many villages and people. So it'll be about an hour, hour car ride over there if we do get the green light from the military. If we're able to get over there, make sure our guns are on. That means we're gonna have an early morning, tomorrow morning as we head over there. Wake up call at 2, try to get on the road at 2.30, puts us there at 3.30, then we'll have a couple hours on a horseback to get up to where the hunting area is. But man, I hope it's going to be an early morning tomorrow.
Well, we finally made it to a spot that we can check the guns here. We originally started up the valley more towards where we're going to hunt, but they've got a military operation still going on over there, so we came back over here and got a little crowd coming behind, so nothing like shooting with a crowd. I would tell them it's loud. Pretty sure it's right next to the one on the right, but I can't tell. We're just getting everything loaded up this morning. Our first morning heading out after Mount Niala. It is just after three o'clock, so we're on schedule. We're gonna ride about an hour in the car here. We're gonna switch to horses, and then it's about a two hour horseback ride to get up into the mountain where we wanna be at first light. Should get there about 30 to 45 minutes before dark, just perfect. Catch these big bulls coming out of the fields and coming up in the mountains for their kind of siesta during the day. Man, I'm excited and ready to roll. We're just getting into the hunting area here. We just saw a couple female Niala head up. It's actually still right there. We're going to edge and then we're going to split into a couple different groups and just look down these kind of gullies or valleys and see if we can't turn up a big bull. Hey, it's a little thin up here. I think we're going to check just over the top here. This must be one I've never been here before. If they would have seen Yala here, otherwise we wouldn't we wouldn't be here. We were supposed to go onto the other mountain, mm -hmm. but they say we couldn't go there because of the military this morning. So we'll see what's happening here. pointing something out. Maybe they do see something. Is that, is that gully where they walk up? There's a quite a big gully that goes up, but they'll be glassing that that hill on the far side there. Last time we shot a boar or reed buck here. Yeah. And when we shot a boar or reed buck, this gnarly yeah. gnarly that came over the top and came down but they were just feeding here the whole time. But there were nyala everywhere, but they only started coming out late. And it also started very slow. I think we saw the first nyala last time, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, 10, 10.30. We're just getting ready to move. We're gonna bounce over a couple of ridges and look for some bush bucks over here. 
I've been watching Dad and Clinton. It seems like they've got the majority of the action over there. We saw uh, three different Niala females this morning right in front of us, but that was it. They've got a couple of bulls over by them right now. So just not wanting to mess up what they're doing. We're going to bounce out of here and go see if we can't find a bush buck or a colobus monkey. Can't, we're going to grab our stuff, load up, and get over there and spend the afternoon over there. seen two pretty decent bucks. Just haven't been able to get shots on them. It's just so thick in here. He ran off. Yeah, he's taking up down that side. The problem is it's so thick. Maybe they, even if we go down, we're not going to see them. Yeah. Just keep looking up. We've seen quite a few for this time of the day. Huh? pretty slow and the guy spotted a female bush buck and right behind it was a was a buck but it was super thick in there and kind of went through the opening the first time couldn't get him on the sticks and caught him coming through just a small opening so I dropped my knee shot felt good we gave him a couple minutes we're gonna head in see if we can't find him right now Down right there. Uh, good job. He just hopped over. Oh, 
tué. Such a cool animal. Such a pretty, pretty animal. Yeah. Look at those thick bases, huh? How long do you think this one is? He's probably going to go 12, would be my guess. A very nice Menlix bushbow. It's uh, one of the smaller subspecies of the bushbow. Probably don't have the best footage of this buck actually moving in the thick stuff just because it was so thick. But at least give you an idea what their, what their habitat's like. I mean, there's a reason they're in here, just because they can disappear like that. That's awesome. So the Menlex bushbuck, is it only here in Ethiopia? Yeah, you only find it yeah in the Bali mountains of Ethiopia, nowhere else in the world. So it's a very cool critter to get. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Is it the mouth? Well, there was a lot of work that came into this Minlix bushbuck. We'd uh, work through the bottom here and it's extremely thick. Just working our way slowly through and Jason and the guys spotted this guy. And I had to drop to a knee to make the shot work and then had to do a follow-up shot, which is even trickier, but just shows the habitat that they live in. Extremely safe for them. One heck of a day here. We're going to get this guy taken care of, see if we can't run into Mount Niala or something like that on the way out. We've still got all afternoon. out this afternoon and we're stopping in glass as we go out looking for a colobus monkey which is sounds funny but it's probably one of the things I've wanted to hunt the most they're just they're an odd looking monkey black and white and they've kind of got this this I don't even know how to say it, old person looking face big bushy tail on them so I'm excited to see one in the wild hopefully we can come across one today or tomorrow but looking forward to it one of the unique things you can hunt here in Ethiopia Well, we were just sitting down and taking a break and Jason happened to look up and he glassed a giant colobus monkey up here. And they're just, there's actually a couple of them. They're moving amongst the trees here. So we're just getting set up and this tree is the only thing I could find to get the elevation to be able to make this shot. So they all look the same to me. So we're gonna wait until Jason gets that big male out somewhere that we can shoot and hopefully get solid enough to send one up there. Mark, yeah. are you on? You're on that one that's sitting vertically now. Yep. The one with the long bushy tail. Big tail hanging down. Yeah, the big bushy tail hanging down. Yep. As soon as it sits up a little bit more, let him have it. It's 200, 200 yards exactly. All right, there he is. You ready? Yep. All right, I got him. You ready? Yeah, let him have it. shot looked like it did the trick. I actually aimed probably lower than what you would think I would be aiming because I'm shooting 180 grain burger bullets here and I know if I'd have hit the shoulder with that it would have just exploded it so I actually aimed center mass which is why I think it got down from the tree but we watched and it's laying about 20 yards away. That looks like a giant monkey so we're gonna get loaded up head over take a look at it. I can't wait this is wanted to see one up close get to see him in the tree was pretty awesome but now I want to see it really up close. Well, here he is, Colobus Monkey. By the time we got up to him, the rain had started to roll in on us, so not gonna be the best picks. We're gonna hurry get some picks and everything, but man, way cooler than what I could even imagine. Giant tail on him, long mane body hair, awesome face. Population here in Ethiopia is crazy, so here, there are a couple other um, countries in Africa that you can hunt them in, but this is kind of the one that's, that's known for hunting Colobus Monkeys. And this is an absolute stud. 